The purpose of this module is to enable you to understand about drawing tools in Animate CC. This module covers the following topics. Drawing tools, reshaping lines and shapes. Drawing tools. Before you create an animation, you first need to create graphics and text objects which will be animated. These graphics can range from very basic to highly complex shapes and lines. All this is possible with the use of the drawing tools available in Animate CC. Here are the available drawing tools in Animate CC. Selection tools, line tool, rectangle tool, polystar tool, oval tool, paint brush tool, pencil tool, brush tool, paint bucket tool, ink bottle tool, eraser tool, line tool. This tool is used to draw straight lines. The steps to use this tool are select the line tool in the tools panel. In the properties panel choose the stroke color and the stroke style. Set the line thickness by typing a number in the width box or clicking on the arrow next to it and moving the slider. Click on the stage and drag to draw the line. Drawing Rectangles and Squares The Rectangle tool can be used to draw simple rectangles and squares. Click the arrow located at the lower right side of the tool to reveal the various options. Rectangle tool Draws a simple rectangle in which you specify stroke and fill properties. The steps are as follows. Select the Rectangle tool. In the Properties panel, select the Stroke color and the Fill color. Also select a width for the line and a line style. Click on the stage and drag to draw a rectangle. You can also change the radius of the corners of the rectangle in the Properties panel. There are four slider buttons, one for each corner. By default, three slider buttons are not highlighted. By setting the radius in one button, you can set the same radius for all the corners. Then, click and drag to draw the rectangle with rounded corners. Now, click the lock button in the Properties panel. This will enable you to set different radius values for other corners of the rectangle. You can also set a negative value to get an inverse radius. Then, click and drag to draw the shape. Rectangle Primitive Tool When you draw a rectangle with rounded corners, you first have to specify the radii for the corners and then draw the shape. After drawing the shape, you cannot modify the radii. However, Animate CC provides a tool called the Rectangle Primitive Tool to solve this problem. The steps to use this tool are Select the Rectangle Primitive Tool Click and drag on the stage to draw a simple rectangle. Select the shape and use the options available in the Properties panel to modify the shape. Specify Stroke Color Specify Fill Color Specify line thickness, specify stroke style, specify corner radius. Drawing ovals and circles. The oval tool can be used to draw simple ovals and circles. On clicking the arrow at the lower right side of the tool, Animate CC provides you with various options related to the tool. This tool draws an oval. This tool helps to draw an oval with additional properties such as start angle and end angle, inner radius. Oval tool. The oval tool is used to draw an oval or a circular shape. The steps to use this tool are as follows. Select the oval tool. In the properties panel, 
Select the stroke color, stroke thickness, line style, and the fill color. Click on the stage and drag to draw an oval shape. To draw only a part of an oval, you can specify the start angle, the end angle, and the inner radius. Then, click and drag to draw the shape. Oval Primitive Tool When you draw an oval or a circle using the oval tool, you cannot change the start angle, the end angle, or the inner radius after drawing the shape. But, this can be done if you draw a circle or oval using the Oval Primitive Tool. The steps to use this tool are Select the Oval Primitive Tool. Click and drag to draw a simple oval or circle. Now, in the Properties panel, set the properties. Start Angle, End Angle, and the Inner Radius. Notice the change in the circle. Drawing polygons and stars. The Poly Star tool is used to draw polygons or stars. You can modify the Poly Star shape in terms of the number of sides of the polygon and the number of points on the star. The depth of the star points can also be modified. The steps to draw a polygon or star are as given below. Select the Poly Star tool. In the Properties panel, select the Stroke and the Fill attributes. Click the Options button in the Properties panel. The Tool Settings dialog box appears. Select Polygon or Star in Style. Specify number of sides between 3 and 32. For polygons, it is the number of sides, while for stars, it indicates the number of points. Star point size specifies the depth of the star points. Enter a number between 0 and 1 as its value. A number closer to 0 creates deeper points. For drawing a polygon, do not change the setting. Click OK to close the dialog box. Click on the stage and drag to draw the shape. Drawing with the Pencil Tool This tool is used to draw lines and shapes just like you would draw using your pencil or pen. The steps to draw with the Pencil Tool are Select the Pencil Tool In the Properties panel, select Stroke Color, Line Thickness and Style. When this tool is selected, its modifier icon is displayed in the lower area of the Tools panel. Clicking on the modifier icon shows the following three options. Straighten. Select this option to draw straight lines. Smooth. Select this option to draw smooth curved lines. Ink. Select this option to draw freehand lines with no modification. Select the desired option. Click and drag to draw the line. Painting with the brush tool. The brush tool is used to paint with brush-like strokes. It is similar to the pencil tool as both can be used to create shapes. The difference between these two tools is that the brush tool is used to paint fills, whereas the pencil tool is used to draw strokes. The brush tool can also be used to create special effects such as calligraphic effects. You can also change the brush shape and size. The steps to paint using this tool are Select the brush tool. Select the fill color from the Properties panel. Click the Brush Mode modifier in the Tools panel and select a painting mode. You can also select here the desired brush shape and size. Drag the mouse pointer on the stage to apply a brush stroke. Paint Bucket Tool This tool is used to fill enclosed areas with solid colors and gradients. You can also fill empty areas and change the color of already painted areas using the Paint Bucket Tool. 
This tool also fills areas that are not entirely closed. The tool provides a modifier that allows you to close gaps. The steps to use this tool are Select the Paint Bucket tool. Select the Fill Color in the Properties panel. Click the drop-down menu arrow of the Gap Size modifier and choose a Gap Size option to close the gap in the shape. Click inside the shape to fill it with color. Filling Shapes with Gradient Fill Gradient is a non-uniform color fill in which one color gradually and smoothly changes to the other as the fill is applied. Animate CC provides some default gradient colors that appear at the bottom of the color palette. To apply a gradient, follow these steps. Click the Paint Bucket tool. Select a gradient color from the color panel. Click inside the shape. Creating a new gradient. A new gradient can be created through the following steps. Select Window, Color. The color panel opens up. Click the drop-down menu arrow of the type box and select a gradient style. You can select a linear or a radial gradient. A linear gradient creates a gradient that shades from the starting point to the end point in a straight line. A radial gradient creates a gradient that shades from the starting point to the end point in a circular pattern. Click the color markers you want to change. The color palette appears. Select a color. You can also click and shift the color marker left or right on the gradient bar to adjust the gradient. To add another color marker, click below the gradient bar. To remove a color marker, drag it off the bar. You can continue creating the gradient effect by adding color markers and assigning colors to them. Using the Ink Bottle tool. This tool is used to change the color, style, and thickness of the existing lines. The steps are Select the Ink Bottle tool. Select a stroke color, style, and width in the Properties panel. Click on the line to which you want to apply the stroke modification. Using the Eraser tool. This tool is used to erase lines and fills. You can customize it to erase only lines, only fills, or only selected fills. To delete everything on the stage, double-click the Eraser tool. To delete strokes or filled areas, select the Eraser tool and then click Faucet Modifier in the Tools panel. Click the stroke or filled area you want to delete. To delete by dragging, select the Eraser tool. Click the Eraser Mode modifier and choose the desired erasing mode. Click the Eraser Shape modifier and choose an eraser shape and size. Erases all lines and fills that it passes over. Only fills are erased while lines remain unaffected. Erases only lines while fills remain unaffected. Erases fills that are currently selected while unselected fills and lines remain unaffected. Erases the area of fill that you want to erase. Click and drag on the stage to erase. With the help of the Selection tool, you can reshape lines and shapes. Here, the object to be reshaped has been taken to be a rectangle. However, the method is applicable on any shape. Draw a rectangle on the stage. Select the Selection tool. Make sure that no line of the rectangle is selected. Now, position the mouse pointer near a line. The mouse pointer changes to show how the line can be reshaped. Click and drag to reshape. Release the mouse button.